Good morning, board members, fellows, ladies and gentlemen. From times of ancient Egypt where they actually stated that nerves could not be fixed when nerves had been damaged through spinal cord injuries. In 1990, with the help of modern day medicine, scientists actually proved that with axon growth, with blocking certain molecules, certain nerves could be regrown starting off new evolution of spinal cord research leading into stem cell research with the Reeves Foundation from the late Christopher Reeves. Today I'm here to talk about nerve regeneration therapy. Regeneration of connections in the injured spinal cord has been the holy grail of research for over a century. Today, the regeneration barrier has been broken. In 2008, a Harvard neuroscientist made a discovery that could be the key to curing paralysis. By blocking the gene P10, Dr. Zhi Gang He enabled nerve growth in the optical nerve after an injury. This sparked a question. Could this work for spinal cord injury? To answer this, Dr. He teamed up with Oswald Stewart at UC Irvine. In 2010, they proved that blocking P10 enabled regeneration of CST axons in the spinal cord for the first time in history. Regenerative therapy is done by grafting nerve cells from the bicep into the healthy part of the spinal cord after a lengthy process to repair damaged axons, helping surrounding neurons to grow to send signals from the nerve cell to another, hopefully regaining the use of the patient's limbs. Since the regenerative material is from the patient, so no need for immune suppressant medications. Developed to manage those who are on medications for Parkinson's disease. Regenerative therapy has been a success using test animals. The nerves of a rat have been successfully joined. After one year of treatment, this man regains the use of his hands for the first time. Through nerve regrafting therapy. This film shows the man for the first time using his hands to play with a ball and eat. From 1990 to 2016, there has been a steady rate of success with 40 to 50% of the patients getting great results. This has motivated researchers to work harder for new advances. To help make this dream come true, the Monaro Foundation will be running fundraising events such as a Dust Till Dawn dance where the music department will donate their DJs to help with this event. The fashion department senior classes will be designing clothes to run a fashion show. Elite models from Chatswood will be donating the time of their models also for this auction event. The Monaro Foundation will host a basement to roof stair run at HSBC building George Street, Sydney. Please to support the spinal cord research efforts of Sydney, University of Sydney is pleased to be raising money and providing support 
services such as 24-hour care from psychologists and psychiatrists will be there to suit the emotional needs of the patients who are in recovery. Families always need emotional support. Round-the-clock family care will also be available too for the counselling sessions to deal with the needs of carers and family members. The Information and Technology Department will be donating their time and efforts by building and designing a server for a private blog site as well as vlog sites and chat rooms for a good peer support. For the volunteer efforts of the medical students and interns, they will be awarded extra credit. Thank you, board members, fellows, ladies and gentlemen. We hope that with your support, we will be able to make this dream come a reality. For more information, please visit our website or email us with a request for information. Our hotline number is 1-800-333-222. To make donations or simply visit us on campus. Lab 5, Medical Science Labs, City University. Thank you for your time and support for helping to lead the way in such a great cause.